referencing Rummy. Uh, the aim is to collect a set or run of referencing elements for either a book, British Standard, journal or website. Uh, instructions, shuffle the cards and deal five cards to each player. Each player takes it in turns to take a card from the pile and must discard one from their hand. If a player turns a joker card, they can use that to represent their chosen element of the reference. Uh, when they have a complete reference, they shout Harvard and show their hand, <laughs> <laughs> show their hand in the correct order, uh, and they're the winner. Um, there are a couple of red herring cards in there based on kind of things that you wouldn't put into your reference. Um, minimum two players, maximum six. Uh, and if a player shouts Harvard and is wrong, as I found earlier, they miss a turn. Has, it, has anybody got questions about the game while they're just playing around with it? Do you know which type of reference you're trying to make in each hand? Each card's got, um, there's like three, four different suites, so you've oh, got, okay. and they're marked on the cards, and if we got one printed out, you'd have one picture of what could be. How many components for a journal article reference? Well, we've got them down to, is it five yeah, elements five per card, so we've kind of... But we did have to do some squishing mm. of stuff. Yeah. Um, but so for the website, for example, we've got the date, access, and the URL on the same card, rather than that as two separate elements. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you have some generic cards that would apply to every run? Because they've got symbols on them um, to say whether they're a book or a British standard or a journal, we didn't do that, but you could. We could have done that. So you could just have dates and that could apply to Post yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. It was more that when people are collecting, they're clear about which bits of the elements go for that reference. But yeah, yeah you could, you could. is it near game? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, is there a certain number of people that can play then? No, potentially we reckon quite a few. Well, we were thinking um, you could have five groups of five, I okay. guess. Depends on how many people you've got coming to your sessions, I suppose. How long do you think you'd, it would take to play? Um, it's been going quite quickly so far, so I don't know what's... <laughs> Maybe not this time. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier we got through it really quickly. Yeah, we, we've experimented with taking sweets out and leaving some of the red herring cards out, so I guess you um, could just... Yeah. And are you going to ask people to put things in the right yeah. order? Yes, okay. that's... Yeah. When they you shout, shout Harvard and you've got to construct the... You know, you're not going to no, no. Oh, no. Have you fixed this game? It's a bit like long, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> so could you not pick up something that somebody's put there? Yes, yes you yeah, it's just we yeah. have need. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> uh, so. Different combinations because you come up with. You've got an awful lot of cards then. Well, there's a book. Yeah. So it's not actual references, you're just saying all the title, date on the cards. Um, well, we have, yeah. We've put an example on the bottom so we can see what it was. Yeah. Okay. But you haven't got, for example, um, Tolkien, Lord of the Rings, where the date you wrote that. Mm -hmm. We could have done, but we we couldn't remember the details and yeah. stuff. Multiple cards at the same. Yes. Yeah. So it's four, five sets of journal title, five sets of. We did take one out, but it didn't seem to make much mm. difference mm. to the speed of the. Yeah. So what's that? About eighty cards. Then? Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. It's never taken this long. Before. <laughs> <laughs> but we're one less person playing, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Mm. So if you were playing with a group of students, would, would a librarian have to facilitate or would they join in? Join in? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So who would check that the reference was correct? Well, the group would. Have you got cards with the 
print cards, which has got the proof of how long it should be laid out, or are you expecting people to remember how long it should be laid out? Well, you could times. do it at the end of a session where you might have examples up on a board. Yeah. And then play this. And play this. Just to get <laughs> you must be chilling a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Harvard! <laughs> <laughs> Only a little cheat. Otherwise, it would be here for ages, wouldn't it? Yeah.